So hello and welcome to the first part of this eye styling class by me, Frankie Widows. And I'm going to guide you step by step through this course and showing you how we can create so many wonderful bespoke sets of lashes on every single client that comes into our salon. It is never ever one set suits everybody, but we always offer, like I said, a bespoke set to every single client that comes in. And let's talk about, first of all, the importance of eye style and why, you know, it's paramount that we take these courses or we learn in depth the reason why we have to be proficient at this and give our clients a bespoke set of eyelash extensions because, as we've got here, eyelash extensions are known for accentuating the eyes and natural beauty. However, if you get this subject wrong, they can also accentuate undesirable features on the face. And a poorly styled set of eyelash extensions will not only look unattractive, but can draw attention to features such as drooping corners, which I have, lazy eyes, bulging eyes, a hooded eye, etc. So there's a lot of things that go on on a client's face that might be what we call an undesirable feature. And therefore, we have to try our very, very best in order to disguise those features by the clever use of styling. That's why things like makeup is such an important thing within the industry, especially of women, because actually we have it to disguise maybe features that we don't like um, and enhance features that we do like. And it's no different when it comes to eyelash extensions. So let me tell you me let me tell you my story, okay, about um, kind of like my eye styling journey, really, and how I started off. Because when I was a new technician, I had a client who was not a pretty lady, and I don't want to sound unkind, but she just didn't have very good eyes, and they kind of sort of like bulged out of her, her head. They were like a big, round, protrude, protruding, bulging eye. Um, and it was the most obvious feature on her face. Um, and they, they could actually be classed as sort of slightly ugly. And, and what happened was month after month, I continued to lash her with completely the wrong lash style, use of curl and incorrect thickness on her. And actually all I did was draw even more attention to her unattractive eye. And I used to remember lashing her and every time she'd sit up and look in the mirror, I was actually horrified with what I created on her and I couldn't realise why a set of eyelash extensions on her made her look worse. You know, I was always trained that they accentuate beauty. It doesn't matter what you do, they're going to accentuate beauty. But actually all it did was draw attention to this big, round, ugly eye that, that she had. And funnily, she's no longer my client because she probably looked in the mirror week after week and thought, oh my God, this doesn't look very, very good. And this is why I've got at the bottom here of the page, a lack of understanding of this subject will lose you clients just like it lost me that client and also lost me a lot of other clients along the way because I just couldn't lash them in a suitable way to disguise the features that they didn't like or accentuate the features that they did like because I think a lot of our clients come in with an idea in their head and think that lash extensions are going to let them allow well allow them to walk out looking completely different and Okay, maybe client expectations can be a little bit unrealistic, but knowing what I know now, I can meet their expectations a lot better than I could all them years ago when I was getting it wrong, just like I was doing here. And I now understand what I did was wrong and how important it is that I get this right when styling my clients. Because like I said, clients expect their new lashes to make them look like a different person. And although that's impossible, we can still disguise some of their most undesirable features and let them feel leave feeling like a million dollars. And if we can do that, um, not only is it great to make a client feel good about themselves, but then that client will continue to come back week after week because the set of lashes that we put on her is bespoke to her and makes her feel good about herself. And this is just an image that um, I put on here because I thought it was hilarious and I thought that it is a brilliant one to show, you know, what it can look like if you get it wrong. And here, incorrect eye styling can result in an unhappy client and loss of business. And this is why this subject is so very, very important. And I, I've just put some lashes on this person here and unfortunately this person is, is, is not an attractive person, but... If you put the wrong eye style, or let's say lash style on this type of client, oh my God, you're gonna make them look even worse. So 
There's a saying that I have, which is you can't polish a turd, but you can sprinkle it in glitter. And that is what we have to do. And when we do that and we get it right and you know our clients are happy, what a great feeling that is, not only as the lash technician, but as the client that walks out of your salon um, just with this newfound confidence just through putting some eyelash extensions on her. So this again is the reason why we must get it absolutely spot on. Now, this is very important because if you are already trained in Russian volume, but are not very good at eye styling, um, this can be an issue and, and a good pat on your back for taking this course if you are already trained in Russian volume and don't know uh, a lot about this. Because when your clients come in and they pay for Russian volume, they pay top dollar for it. And as such, they expect the very best. They expect correct eye styling, and that means the correct direction of the lashes, the correct thickness used, the correct curl used, all of those things that you're gonna be seeing that we're gonna be bringing together in this course to make it absolutely correct. Because this is one of the reasons why I don't train novices in Russian volume, because until they have an excellent understanding of eye styling, all of the different curls, thicknesses, lengths, they can't take a Russian volume course because all Russian volume will do, and of course this isn't a Russian volume course, but it will teach you to pick up multiple lashes. It's not there to teach you eye styling and then what curl to use. Those are the courses that you have to take beforehand. They're actually classic lash techniques and classic lash courses because all of those techniques that you learn from your classic training then go on to Russian volume. And unfortunately, a lot of technicians skip out all of these steps in between. So let's say they want to get from A to D, but they miss out B and C and go straight to D and then either have massive gaps in their knowledge and they lose their confidence on a Russian volume course because they're thinking, God, I don't know anything about this. Or they learn the Russian volume technique, go and put it on clients, but get the eye styling completely wrong. And you've got a client that's paid top dollar for a set of eyelash extensions, but the shaping of it might be completely wrong and therefore she's gonna leave unhappy. So this is another reason why it's absolutely paramount that you have a really, really good understanding of this early on in your career. And I'm not talking about, you know, as a beginner because you can't teach a beginner to eye style because they've got their work cut out enough as it is just trying to stick an eyelash extension onto a natural lash. But within six months to 12 months to 24 months of really, really starting to knuckle down and understand this subject before they then wanna progress any further. So it's great that you're here and it's great that you're taking this course because it's really, really gonna set your sets alight and um, give you the heads up, you know, really make your sets look amazing, especially when you progress onto that Russian volume. And here I've written, eye styling takes months, if not years, to learn. Learning the art of eye styling, just like lashing, takes months, if not years, to learn. And even I still get it wrong. I actually did a set yesterday, and I tried my very, very best. She did have a very, very difficult eye. And I got the inner corner completely wrong. And, you know, I'm not upset about it, but actually what I did was I looked at that and thought, right, I got that wrong. So next time... I need to change that up. So I took that picture and I probably studied it for about 10 minutes and I wrote down notes of where I got it wrong. And I actually quite enjoy that because for me, the saying every day is a school day, which it is, I love to see where I got things wrong. And I don't think of mistakes as mistakes. I think of mistakes, and I'm gonna say the word, as learning. Because if we didn't get anything wrong, how would we ever train ourselves to get something right? So if you ever get anything wrong, don't worry about it. Just go, okay, well, next time I'm going to try this. And actually have fun with trying something different because when you do nail it, you're like, yes, that's it. And then you've learned something new. Um, eye styling is also a subject that can be very subjective. So what you think may work or look good on a client another may disagree so there will be times where to apply a set to a client you know um, that technically this is the correct set for her but she will disagree uh, or he will disagree because with some of us lash male clients as well so but we'll talk about she for the time being but maybe she prefers that feline flick which actually draws her eye downwards however this is where we compromise and discretion comes in and it's something that you will learn along the way so i have a client called cheryl and 
she has quite a well she's got a very very hooded eye like double folds and actually she needs a bee curl in a rounding effect to extend out from underneath her hood and also the outer corners need to be shorter so that the attention is drawn over to the center of the eye to lift it and you'll understand this a bit later on in the course but the problem is is that she went to lots and lots of texts before she met me who were only ever trained to do an 8, a 10 and a 12. So 8 on the inner corner, 10 over the middle and 12 on the outer corner. So she's now used to technically what is a cat effect, which is completely the wrong effect for her. Her lashes aren't, actually can't support it because her outer corner lashes on the very, very outer corner of her eyes actually are very, very fine, like the rest of her lashes. So she'll get a droop on. But because she's so conditioned to seeing that look in the mirror, she really struggles to step away from it. And even when I did do a B curl in a rounding effect on her, she really didn't like it because she's used to wearing a C curl in a cat effect, which all it does is it gets caught up in her hood. They actually sort of grow upwards into her hood. And the flick on the outer corner just looks ridiculous because it pokes out underneath the hood. But where her inner corners are shorter, you can't see it from her hood. So when I lash her, I kind of have to compromise and I kind of give her a kitten effect, which again, we'll discuss later on. And although it's okay, it looks so much better when I do a rounded effect on her, but she can't see that because she's so conditioned to the cat effect. So as you can see here, we've compromised on it. And although I'm sending her out with not my best work that I'm happy with, I'm not ashamed to say that works mine. And also I can explain it here why I've done that on that client. So... That is very, very important as well, is that you do come to a compromise with your client. So from here, it's ready to get your pen and paper ready. And let's get ready. <laughs> Lots of readies going on there um, and start this eye styling jo uh, journey and just have fun with it. You know, it's really, really intense, but it's fun and it's going to hopefully open your eyes up to how much we can do, you know, what we can create on our clients things that you didn't even know that we could do especially with a classic lash technique but we're going to have fun it's going to be intense so make sure you've got your pen and paper ready and let's get on it <laughs> 